Steeler fans, welcome. This is the I Worship Steelers show. I am I Worship Steelers. And this is the first time we're going to be and a great supporter since I've been four years. Steeler fans, welcome. This is the I Worship Steelers show. I am I Worship Steelers. And this is the first uh, episode, first installment of the 2009 season. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations to the Pittsburgh Steelers fans, the team. The uh, front office, the coaching staff, a wonderful season last year. We are now world champions once again, the Sixburg Steelers. Whew. About to get sentimental. Uh, I'm so proud of the team. I've been a great supporter. I'm going on 39 years old and a great supporter since I've been four years old, since 1974 when we started winning Super Bowls. I'm probably the biggest Steeler fan interview we'll ever meet, and I'm really serious about my fandom. And I um, just want to take a moment and thank the team. Well, let's move on to this year's business, 2009. As you know, we just beat the Tennessee Titans last week in the opening game. It was a war of attrition, but we came out on top like we usually do. I mean, it's not Pittsburgh still a football if they don't give the fans a heart attack at the end. Am I right? Want to lose. We usually win. We got the job done, and that's the bottom line. Um... Next week, I'll give you a prediction up front. We're going to beat the Chicago Bears by a score of maybe 27 to 17. It'll be a close game at the end, but we're going to jump out on, and, you know, on top of them in the beginning of the game. We're going to have to score quick. Let's get to the issues. The running game is what everyone wants to talk about today, I'm sure. We're going to be ineffective for a while. It's not a matter of who's running the ball. Willie Parker is still the truth. Don't jump off the Willie Parker bandwagon too quick, still a nation. I'm going to make a bold prediction right now, and I'm going to tell you that Willie Parker is going to end up with 15 or 1,600 yards rushing, providing that he stays healthy every week this year. If he plays the whole season healthy in his sleep, he'll get 10 rushing touchdowns, 1,500 yards plus rushing from scrimmage. That's the way I feel. Mendenhall is the back of the future, but he'll have little to no success until we acclimate our fullback into the offense. Running a double tight end formation like we did much of last week is never going to be effective in this offense because to run a successful double tight end formation without the um, fullback in the offense, you'll have to have a great blocking tight end as your second tight end, which is Matt Spaeth, who is not a great blocking tight end, let's face it. He's not even really a great pass catching tight end. Um, He's been a waste so far. I won't call him a waste, but a disappointment as a third-round pick in 2007. Um, Sean McHugh, the third-string tight end slash H-back, who we also double as a fullback at times, is no longer uh, with us. He's on injured reserve, so therefore it was a smart decision to draft David Johnson in the late rounds this, this season at tight end slash H-back, but... Him being so young, even he's not ready yet. Frank the Tank, I believe, and Mike Tomlin feels that he's not ready to be a full-time, every-down fullback. Therefore, we're taking our chances and working without a fullback most of the game last week, and we'll probably do the same this week. And we'll, we won't have any major success against great defenses or even average defenses until we uh, add the um, – fullback into the mix. That's that's the way I feel. It's my opinion and it'll pretty much come into fruition for us to have a great running game when you start seeing Frank the Tank Summers, the uh, late round draft choice from UNLV as the starter. Wide receiver wise, we look like we have the most depth that we've, we've ever had in the still organization's history. Um, Line of Swede has not stepped up to the level that I thought he should at this point, but he will be a great Pittsburgh still receiver. You see flashes, but of uh, greatness, but you don't see consistency with them. Therefore, you have Mike Wallace as the third receiver right now on the roster, and um, he's a great pickup in a draft, third round from Ole Miss. He has speed, great hands, and he gets open pretty quick, and he's doing his job, and he's what we need right now. Sean McDonald, on the other hand, is a great free agent pickup who's just not acclimated to our system yet once he gets a hold of what we do here in Pittsburgh by the middle of the season he'll probably be your third receiver he's had great success in 2007 as the, the yeah, Detroit Lions third receiver where he almost achieved 80 receptions and almost a thousand yards on a horrible team with a horrible offense so you can imagine what type of success and um, 
he'll have here in the uh, Pittsburgh game. Um, defense is strong as usual. Our front seven is massive, incredible. Uh, we're missing Larry Foote. He left via free agency to you know to the Detroit Lions and. Uh, Lawrence Timmons is in his place. I feel as though Timmons is more of an outside linebacker as we drafted him first round to be, and he's panned out as a great backup, but I don't know what kind of middle linebacker he's going to be. He's smallish. He has speed and might work in our favor, might work against us. But right now, we don't even know because we are we got Kiar and Fox, who played well as a backup at that position. I, right now, I think it's safer for us to go with Kiar and Fox as the starting inside linebacker, but uh, I think uh, LeBeau and Tomlin, they have it, you know, within their plans to go with Timmons. We'll see how that works out. It's a work in progress, but regardless, the front seven is going to be strong anyway. Still have the best front seven in football. Defensive back-wise, we're thin at safety. We don't have a lot of depth, but uh, of course, Troy is injured again. He's down. He's the premier safety in the league, but Tyrone Carter does a great job as a backup. He's an older safety, uh, not very fast, but he plays above his head. He's having a pretty good season last year as a backup, and I think he'll do well replacing um, Palomalu. Um, Ryan Mundy's a big, strong, hard hitter, but, you know, he's a work in progress. He's a young man who'll be the future safety, future starting safety of the Steelers, but right now he's just wet behind the ears. Um, Ryan Clark, not much of a cover safety, but a hell of a hitter. One of the greatest hitters in the NFL, and he plays hard every play. We'll be okay at safety. My concern is at corner. Cornerback, I uh, think Ike Taylor is done. I love Ike. I've been a supporter for years, but this is his last year in the Pittsburgh still a uniform. I just wish William Gay can step up to a higher level with his game. He's pretty good, but he's not where he needs to be. The Shea Townsend is the most polished of all of our corners, but... He's at the age where he's not going to be an every down 60 minute corner, so he's coming off the bench as a quality backup. In case of an injury or emergency to one of the corners, he'll step in and fill in that role admirably, as he always does. Um, the young corners that we picked up in the draft, uh, Keenan Lewis, Joe Burnett, they're not ready. They're not ready. Um, the biggest free agent pickup that we made at, actually is at corner, and that's Kiwan Ratliff of the Indianapolis Colts. You'll see by the middle of the season that he'll step in when he needs to and make some huge plays to save our defense. I guarantee you that's a big prediction I'm going to make right now that Kiwan Ratliff was a great pickup in the future. He might be a starting corner with us. Um, special teams-wise, Jeff Reed is strong. The kick and punt return game is strong with Stefan Logan from the uh, Canadian Football League. He's only 5'6 and a half, 5'7", but he's got a lot of heart, and he's going to make the big difference on special teams. Daniel Sepulveda is back at punter. We're looking great. Um, it's been the first installment of the I Worship Stiller Show. Keep supporting me. Add your comments. We can peacefully debate if you'd like to. Just stay online. Check us out. Um, it's going to get better every week. I promise. It's a work in progress, but it's going to be a great show. Thank you for supporting I Worship Stiller Show. Pittsburgh Stiller's number one world champions, baby.